Hello and welcome back to the second part of the SQL Server and SSMS installation. In this video, we're going to validate the installation. First, we're going to make sure that we can connect to our actual SQL Server using SSMS. And then we're going to do an extra step where we download and restore a copy of the AdventureWorks database and get that up and running on our machine to prove that we're in a state where our database is ready to go for further development in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the setup has completed successfully. So the last piece of this is optional. Um, I would like to validate that everything is working. So obviously validation is typically not optional, but uh, the next part where I'm going to get a database and install stuff, that's optional. So I am going to pin it to my taskbar. You can see SSMS is down here next to Visual Studio Code. I can open this up and provided that the SQL Server is installed and that this everything is working here, it'll, it'll give me a prompt to log in. All right, so you can see that the server name here, uh, server type is database engine, and the server name is just our local host, whatever the name of your machine is. So you can typically just type in localhost. And as long as you have done SQL Developer Edition, this should work. And we're gonna use our default Windows authentication and basically just let that be our login. Then go ahead and hit connect. Now you'll note, I'm just gonna actually call this out real quick, even though it doesn't really matter right now, uh, there is an options here. This is an important thing maybe later uh, where you can do some different changes, but this always encrypted. You may need to come in here and, and turn this on um, if you are using some encryption. You also may have to add some additional connection parameters here for encryption if you need it. Um, if you don't need any of that or don't care about that right now, that's fine. Uh, you don't need it. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and connect normally. Again, database engine, localhost, Windows authentication, connect. And you see your local host here, and you see there's no databases other than the master maybe. So if you right click and say new database, you could create a new database here and all of the things. Um, what I'm gonna do real quick is just show you how you could install a database to get it working. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and I'm actually going to get AdventureWorks sample database. Now it really doesn't matter what version of this you get, okay? Um, if, unless you have a reason, right? If you get the 1992 version of it, that might be a problem. But as long as you get, uh, as long as you get the right a version, whether it's 17, 18, 19, whatever it is, whatever year it is, it doesn't matter here. Um, unless you have a reason, you could get an older version. Um, if you don't have a reason, just get the backup. Now you'll see there's two or three actually here, but so you have OLTP, which is Online Transaction Processing. This is the full AdventureWorks, so it's a little bigger. This is for data warehousing. We're definitely not doing that today, but you may want that. This one over here is a lightweight. I'm interested in this one a little bit because it's just a really quick install. Depending on what you need though, if you need this full one for some reasons, there's like a lot more tables, a lot more data in this. And this one is just a really quick way to get started. Either one, you can see they have a different name. Either one's fine. I'm gonna actually do the full one, why not? It'll take a little bit longer, but it gives me more stuff. You can see that the download is done. Now this is the really tricky part to restore a database. And again, this is optional. So if you don't know what I'm doing here or you don't want to do this, don't do it. Uh, but it's a really nice way to see how to do this if you're interested. Right click on my database and say restore database. And what this will do is it's going to bring up a folder. So, and you're going to say, I want to restore from device. And then you're going to select nothing because there's nothing there. You're going to hit this three buttons over here. And it's going to say, where do I want to restore this from? I guess if I go add here, I can find it. That will give me the, the right answer. So you see here, that's the full folder. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna copy that path, okay? C program files, Microsoft SQL Server, MS SQL Backup, and I'm actually just gonna open that in a new window here. And I'm actually gonna move this AdventureWorks 22 backup file into that folder. So unfortunately it does have to be in this location. And so now that'll be there. And now if I come back here, and I say device, and I hit this, and I say add, you'll see that AdventureWorks 2022 is there in that backup folder, just like it should be. And I'm gonna hit okay, and okay, and AdventureWorks, and again, I can change the name here. So I'm just actually gonna change the name to AdventureWorks 2022 full, just in case I had a reason not, or another conflict or something. So there it is, AdventureWorks 2022 full. I'm gonna say okay, and that's gonna restore this file, this database, and I can see now that I'll have tables and all the other stuff that comes with that database. So let's just right click and uh, 
Script table as select to new query editor window. And we get our people. And hit F5 to run it and you see I've got data. So now I guarantee I have SQL Server working on my machine. I've actually restored a database with a bunch of data in it and proven out that my database system is working through SSMS and the actual internal server on my machine. So that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks very much and we'll see you next time.